All right, so um, I wanted to show you this. This is something that happens in babies sometimes after stress. We'll usually, I've seen it, I saw it once last year. This would be the first time this year. And um, this, this can be a couple of different things, but always what my first suspect um, when I recognize what this baby's doing is goat polio, uh, which is kind of a layman's term. Really what it is is that they are lacking in thymine. So if you see, he's kind of he's he's kind of stumbly. He's not really walking right. We know this goat. He's also he's kind of limp and lethargic. Um, but as well, he, he keeps kind of stumbling and he'll spread his legs out. It's really hard to see by how he's acting right now. It's really mild signs. But you saw that little stumble. That's not normal for this little guy. As soon as I see things that look neurologic, clumsiness. Um, Sometimes they, they actually don't see well. Advanced stages will become full seizures. Um, there's two things I'm skeptical of when that happens. Um, and polio is a really easy one to treat. The other one is salt toxicity. Salt toxicity can show up like this as well because it's also neurologic. Both of these things affect their brain chemistry. And so the, 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 the symptom is that they just are kind of goofy and drunk almost. And that's the early signs. Now I know what this goat is eating and so I feel confident we're not dealing with salt toxicity. So what I'm gonna do is treat um, um, the goat polio with vitamin B. So when a goat goes through stress, which this guy just went through transport and he's switched pins and he's changed food, which is stressful for a baby, um, and he's depleted his brain of thymine. And, and we can easily put that back by putting thymine or vitamin B back into a system. So we're actually gonna give him a jet, an injection of that. The, the thing with thymine is, and I'm not gonna talk about dosages here, is that it comes in different dosages and strengths and, and, and um, so, so you're gonna need to research the particular bottle that you have. There's straight thymine, there's vitamin B complex. When they're really mild symptoms like this, I like to go ahead and, you see how he's being? This is, he's just being goofy. He's not quite in control of his body. He's kind of punch drunk. That's a really big sign of thiamine deficiency. And so you need to get this vitamin B into him right away. So I wanted to show you this as an example. Um, we'll see how this guy does. Sometimes they can crash pretty fast, but generally as a rule, they just get weirdly neurologic. But you need to see the signs of it, recognize it early because early arresting also helps to eliminate any possibility of potential long-term permanent damage that can occur in this situation. So um, we'll, we'll do this video and then potentially before we'll publish it, we'll show you when he bounces back or we'll let you know on the results of it. So um, wish us luck with this little guy. This is something that does happen. Um, they just react to stress strangely by depleting their brains of thymine. So I hope you find that helpful. So you remember this little guy? So it's uh, five days ago that we were having issues with him and I was saying I thought he had goat polio and I do believe he did and this is common that not only did he have that, he had something else. So a lot of times the stress of something else can be exacerbated and compounding. So he did have goat polio. Um, we got the stumble in this solved and, um, and then all of a sudden he showed uh, really, really bad diarrhea. And so I think by the third day of me giving him vitamin B injections, um, what ended up happening is that he showed what was going on, which is he was having an infection in his belly. So he still was pretty sick and not feeling good, but for finally he gave me a symptom to treat other than just you know, being stumbly and not feeling good and all that stuff. Um, he was to the point where Christy came in and said, you need to go out and put that goat out of his misery. He's just not doing good. And I went out and checked on him. I said, nah, he's not to that point. I still think we can work his way through. And here he is. Um, he did really good. And so what we did at the final end of it is I, I dosed him a, a, a five day dose of sulfa. So gosh, I guess it's been a week since I did that last video. So he was struggling for almost a week. We did some sulfa. Um, slowly he started feeling better and doing better. So um, remember when a little baby is struggling, sometimes it can be more than one thing. And you just kind of take the information that you have and you do your best. Um, and uh, I think we ended up really helping him out. This guy potentially also was struggling with floppy baby amongst it all too, um, which can kind of be multi-symptomatic too. It doesn't just have to be that. Um, so we did actually treat him for that as well as a symptom. 
and but the end is we kind of threw everything we could at him in the kitchen sink and he's doing well he's he's got his coordination back he's feeling good his ears are up um, he's still a little bit weak um, but he's back so I want to encourage you to troubleshoot and really think about the different things that might be showing up and this is just one example and it may look completely different on your farm but that's the nature of raising goats so I hope you find that helpful